Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Listen, man. Hey. Hey, man. Y'all be careful out here, man. Uh, Boss Talk 101, make sure you got like, subscribe to the channel, man. It's crazy how things be going, man. And I've been setting up. And I, I, at first, I'm like, man, I ain't going to even really speak on it. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, but it just keep popping up on the timeline. It is not stopping. So here we go. Nelly. They got Nelly. They saying Nelly pretty much was at a hotel, man. Um, it's crazy because some of the stuff they saying is some stuff that really you would think Nelly would be above. So when I started to look into this and I seen what TMZ had said, where they said, and, and, and I always shout out to Willie D as well, but he be on it. This dude be on it first. But at any rate, Nelly was arrested at a casino hotel. I don't know if he was staying there or what, but he didn't have no insurance. I mean, no, it said his insurance, he had an old insurance ticket. And I'm trying to figure out like, how do Nelly have an old insurance ticket? When you, I don't know if you, when you Google his net worth, it's popping up numbers like he supposed to be able to pay for that ticket, man. So I'm tripping off of it. They say when they went to check him, I didn't know they checked him. When they checked me at the hotel, the last thing I'm thinking is I'm going to go to jail. I'm trying to go in here to gamble if it's a casino. I'm not looking like, hey, man, I'm going to go in here and I need to be careful if I got some warrants. That's not the way I be thinking. I'm going in there to hit the casino for a whole bunch of money about this big. You know what I'm saying? I want to come out that thing with brown paper bags full of money when I leave there. A lot of times it don't go that way. But anyway, that's the thing that we be thinking. That's what we be wanting to happen. But lo and behold, Nelly goes in. When Nelly goes in, guess what, man? They tripping, man. I can't believe they tripping on Nelly like that, man. They done took this man to the, and it was four to something this morning. It was four o'clock this morning. I'm like, man, are y'all serious? So Nelly and the man, listen, man, Ashanti is pregnant. Man don't need this kind of stress, man. And, and this is a petty, these are petty situations. And I know that man finance is above this. So I'm really, really trying to understand if this really a thing where they trying to play a game with him or they trying to come up with some ways to make him, you know, exploit him. You know, it's one brother after another if you really watch what's going on. One brother after another. I might need to make a segment say one brother after another. Because as soon as one is taken out, they go straight for another one. Y'all don't connect the dots, but I be seeing this, man, from one extreme, one superstar to the next superstar to till we get them all gone. So I'm just saying, man, we got to figure out what's going on with Nelly because I don't, I don't know if I want to say that Nelly even did this. But you ain't pay that ticket. Man, I remember I had tickets and warrants, man, and I was running from the law. I was young, I was about 20 years old. I didn't want to pay that ticket. I was holding on that little cash, man, and they ended up a real, I going to give y'all an insight on this. was just a young man. I was hustling, too, but they ain't catch me with nothing. Well, I don't think that was the night. One night I stuffed it down in their back seat, and they didn't get it. And i I never forget that. They didn't catch me with it. I had it, but then I, bam, I stuffed it in the back seat. And, they, and, and then when they rest me, booked me in, the only thing I did, I told them I was my brother. So when I told them I was my brother, I stayed in there for three days before I told them that. Or two days. It might have been two days. But I can, when they came down there to feed me, I say, man, I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not my brother. The, the, it's he. And then they start. Then, then they went and found them warrants. I remember that happening, man. So a lot of times... When you're young, you do stuff like that. I said that to say this, man. Nelly is older. So I don't know if I believe this, man. Four ecstasy pills? But I know somebody who's going to weigh in on it and tell me what they think about it, man. Uh, let me see. My girl, Reality TV. Hey, Reality TV, you there? I'm here. What's going on, girl? That much. Do, do you think that Nelly done really did this? Or is they playing a game with him at the casino? I, he probably forgot that he, uh, about the ticket. You know, it might have slipped his mind. I, you know, I feel like he probably forgot about that ticket. And when they ran it, I don't, I, I've been to the casino, but I haven't been in Missouri, so I don't know how they, you know, I don't know how. In St. Louis, ain't that, that's kind of close to his home. So at the end of the day, why you, you got to understand, man, uh, when, when you doing, when you doing stuff and you think about it, when you start to see how these uh, p 
people, you know, they target you as a celebrity anyway. Cause I couldn't, I, I really, to be honest with you, I'm a, I'm a Nelly fan. Uh, underlay, underlay, mommy, E I E I, uh oh, what's popping tonight? You know, I'm. But I'm gonna tell you, something, I'm a big Nelly fan. Yeah. So I really, I, and you know, I rock with Nelly. Like, like I rock with that whole movement, man. People forget about his movement. He had a strong movement. Yeah, him and the same lunatics. Him and the same lunatics. I know that's. I know your boy. What's that little that, that old boy Murphy Lee? You keep asking me to interview. You keep asking me to interview this cat. Yeah. So I just, you know, like I said, I'm trying to figure out, like, you I know. Think he forgot. You, I think he forgot. He had that warrant. It might, it might be from 1999. We don't know. I don't know, man. I'm I'm really I'm I'm surprised. TMZ reported on it, and, and like I said, Willie D. I seen Willie D. was on it early, man. And, and Willie D. I'm kind of like Willie D. I, I, I'm not I'm not buying it. So I, I was trying to I was hoping it. So, huh? I feel like it's not even. Can I, I'm gonna say this? I feel like they they like to uh, report when it's you know. Black people, they like to blow it out of proportion in a major way when it's people that do the same thing that are other races. They do the same thing. Because, you know, we seen uh, Michael Joy's son over here snoring powder today and eating watermelon. Yeah, I seen that, but that was in another black country. It's, it's, it's legal over there. I feel like they like to exploit black people. Like, when they get busted with these or if things happen in, you know, in the news, they just going to blow it way out of proportion. Because why we don't see these other people... Um, the news when they do things like this all blasted all over the blogs and stuff. Why we only see the black people? And I don't know. I just know that when you when you look at say Nelly, an insurance ticket though. But they talking about ecstasy pills. They acting like he had um, like he was in there selling them to somebody. He had them for himself. Where so he basically, what if it wasn't? What if it wasn't ecstasy? What if they? What if they called it wrong? What if it was just some pills that he he prescribed they to have? Test they got to test it. Well, they they are. It's early out. Early speculations out. Allegedly that it was uh, ecstasy pills. Well, let it pop his ecstasy pills. Well, you know you can't do that, girl. Uh, reality TV, you can't just go around. So do you really think, you don't think police will plant something on you? They'll plant it, they'll do all that, but what I'm Okay, so, but you went they, right in. You know, I noticed something about you. Anytime it's a dude, you always go in. If this was sexy red, you wouldn't even be saying that. And she from up there, too. I would be surprised. See what I mean? You is hard on the men. That's why you, pro you, and, you probably, you and this old uh, hidden agenda you got going, Kamala, Kamala, Kamala Harris. Pop his pills. We would never know. He probably don't even pop pills. What if it's just some pills that was in his pot in his possession? Why would he have them? He might have had. He might have a, a allergy it's effect. It's no business. We would have never known. It, what if he's prescribed a certain allergy medicine or anything? I'm just saying. Or what if they planted it on him? Four pills. They would have planted it. I no, I don't I don't know what they plant. You never know what they finding up there at that casino. What they plant. They could have planted it on him. Not no four pills. They could have planted it on him. I feel like they would have planted it. They would have did a whole bag. Of Man, these listen, I had the cops to take three thousand dollars from me one time, another time six thousand. It was because we had a little something on us, they throw it away, stole my money. These people, these, I'm not saying all cops are bad, because my partner are police, and I talked to him today, but I'm just saying, he called me today. All I'm telling you is, I, it's some good cops, and it's some bad cops. He was smiling. It was some good cops, and it's some bad cops. We don't know. He was smiling, so they was his, and he know they only four pills, so I mean, dang. Well, listen, uh, reality TV, all I'm saying is, here, here we go, here we go. All I'm saying is, can one brother make it with you? Because it, it, it seems like all the brothers, and, and guys, if I'm lying on reality, hold on, if I'm lying on reality TV, get in the comments, let me know. But it seems like every time we talk about a man, no matter what man it is, she has issues with men that, especially successful men, and I don't know what that is. So when they get in trouble, know that reality, all our people we interview, she not going to have your back. 
He lying. So if, if it's money Moses, she'll have his back. But anybody else, he if you lying. got if you got a little money and you're on TV, you hey. in trouble. Hey, get in the comments right now. If you're a real nigga, you know I don't put money in your books. <laughs> yeah, I feel I am. Hey, that's hard. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. But I, all I want to say is, man, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the channel. Get in the comment. Let me know. Did Nelly, uh, do you think Nelly's innocent? Do you think that this is something where he could have been, you know, they, they could have did, they could have planted this on him? Or do you feel like he just forgot they was in his pockets like reality TV said? Yeah, or, 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 or do you feel like, well, let us know what you feel, man. Do you think that uh, Nelly got a baby on the way, y'all? He 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 home now, but we don't he's we don't need married. Ashanti. We don't need Ashanti to be be going through no pressure yeah, behind behind this up. man. So check it, man. You heard her. She got hype when the girl came on. But check it, man. Make sure you got <laughs> like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you share what we got going on here, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.